on the end of the video you can able to create a swingy chain like this first select the default cube and delete it then press shift plus a and select torus under the mesh follow the cursor and set the view from the z-axis press s and scale up the torus a little bit change the viewport view to wireframe and turn edit mode by tab and select edge select select the edges on the middle of the torus then press ctrl b and double the edges then zoom the viewport a little bit and select the half of the torus press g plus x and move on the x axis then toggle to object mode and zoom out little follow the cursor and set the view through y axis press r plus y and 90 to rotate the object 90 degree through the y axis then press r plus z and 90 press g plus z and move it go to physics tab enable rigid body by click on it then change type to passive and change shape under collision to mesh duplicate the rings by copy paste and move it down on z axis then rotate it 90 degrees through z axis select the second ring and go to physics tab then change type to active Copy and paste the second ring, move it a little bit down through the z-axis and rotate it 90 degree through z-axis. Select the last two rings and copy paste them continuously to increase your chain length that you want. In the process, make sure the rings are not touching others. Press Shift plus A and select UV Sphere under Mesh. Select the sphere and press G plus Z and move the sphere to the last ring of your chain. Then press S and scale up the sphere. Hold the Shift and select the sphere first, then select the last ring on your chain and press Ctrl plus J to join the meshes. Now select the first ring of your chain. Turn to edit mode, press A, then press shift plus S and select cursor to select it. Select all rings except the first one, then go to pivot point and select 3D cursor. Press R plus Y and rotate the chain like this. Now play the animation and enjoy your work. As default, rigid body animations are work only for 250 frames. If you want the animation more than that, go to the scene tab, open rigid body world, then open cache and set the end value to how many frames do you want to work with. Then go to the timeline and change the end value to the same. Your comments are warmly welcome here.